Hello again, this is Cody Ray with a very quick Plan Mecha Tech Tips. Today we're going to be installing Romexis on a Mac computer. Sorry Windows guys, you're going to have to learn. So, let's get right down to it. So of course you'll be needing a Romexis disk for Mac, or I've just copied the DMG file to my thumb drive, and that's what I'll be using for the demonstration. So the first step is to open up that thumb drive. It should be on the desktop. Inside, there's that DMG file. We're going to go ahead and double click that. That will go ahead and open up the container that has all the components for Romexis inside of it. It should show up under your favorites list there, under devices, I'm sorry. Um, once we get going here, I'm going to start explaining uh, the components that need to be installed for different types of Romexis installations. Now you probably already know if you've worked with this software before that there are different situations that call for different components of Romexis to be installed. The first situation of course is installing it on a server computer. Now if you're going to install Romexis on a server computer and you wish that computer to act as the server you're going to need to install something called the Firebird database engine. Um, installing this is kind of like the equivalent of installing a SQL engine in Windows. Um, so before we get started, this demonstration is going to focus on a server installation, and we're going to install all the components just for the sake of demonstration. And uh, later on, we can talk about if we were doing a client installation, what components would we select, or if we were doing a server installation, what components would we select, or if we are doing an installation on a capture computer, what components would we select. So don't stress out about that too much now. We're just going to go through the whole thing start to finish and leave all the components selected just so you can see the process and become familiar with that. Now we're going to be doing the server style installation with all the components. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to install this Firebird. Now right off the bat we get this message that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Well, this is an easy fix. Apple has this feature built in, um, and we can shut that off. It's kind of a protection function. And uh, if we go into the settings and in security settings, we can actually turn this feature off, and we can tell the computer to allow software from anywhere to be installed. So that's what we're going to do. We can close that window and let's go ahead and try that again. We're going to double click that icon and here we go. Now this is a whole lot of next, next, next or in Mac continue. So we're just going to agree to that license and go ahead and click install. Now Mac's going to ask you for a password every single time you try to install something. So have that handy. Um, this installation is in real time. It's very quick. So that Firebird database is already installed. So now we can move on back over to our Plan Mecha Romexis package here. And we're just going to go ahead and give that a double click to open that up and start the installation process. So again, a bunch of continues here, but we're just going to work through this, agree. Okay, and here we go. Here's all the components, and we can just simply check or uncheck them depending on what type of installation we're doing. So we're going to leave all of these checked because, like I said, we want to just see the entire process, so Romexis servers checked, database, client, device tool, Didapi Kit, and Java. We're just going to leave all these checked and continue on. Um, go ahead and click install. And then, of course, because it's Mac, we're going to type in that password again. And here we go. We're installing. So I'm not going to speed this up. I want you to see and get a feel for how long this should take on a Mac. I think you'll be happily surprised that it's pretty quick compared to uh, a Windows installation. Now remember, I am doing it from a thumb drive, so that's going to bring a little bit of extra speed to the process. Since I've selected all of the components, I'm bringing all Romexis functionality to this computer. Now, if we were installing as a client, I obviously wouldn't have selected all of these. The only real application for having all of these boxes selected when we do this installation is uh, for maybe a standalone computer or a laptop that a doctor would like to take home with them and use it to capture images and things like that. Uh, but even then, uh, having all these components selected wouldn't really be necessary unless they wanted to have complete functionality on one single computer. So 
the installation is wrapping up as you can see it doesn't take that long but once it's finished that's it you've installed Romexis on a Mac computer so go ahead and pat yourself on the back it wasn't that hard now there is some configuration that needs to be done after the Romexis is installed and you can find that in some later videos so keep watching and I hope you learned a lot have a good one